Yeah, greetings, greetings. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm Will Wills, record producer and musician. So today I wanted to show you on how you can master your song in FO Studio using the Crowd Master. So this is a feature that has been present in FO Studio for some time actually from last year, if I'm not mistaken. I was very much reluctant to use it. I, I, I tend to ignore it a number of times. But a couple of weeks ago, I decided to try the feature and I noticed that it's working because, you know, with the advancement of technology, FO Studio is also advancing. These people are really developing this uh, DAW very well. So, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's check it. I have a track here, the one I demonstrated some couple of weeks ago. I was demonstrating the successor plugin. It's a song that was finished already. So before you do this, make sure that when you're exporting your song, it's not above the threshold. It's not on zero dBs. So definitely, mine, you can see the header is a headroom for mastering. I left it at this point. So I'm going to close this and we're going to open a new page and see what we can do with this mastering. It's so quick. So welcome back. Yeah, so we're coming on empty. And now, one, one thing, in order for you to use this feature, you must make sure that you are connected to the internet. So my internet connection is already here. So let's get it. So I'm going to drag this song here. This is the beat the song. Just come here and then come to master. Okay, so definitely it has already come without wasting time. So I must get to the folder where I need this directed to the folder. Okay, so here we go. Now, there are a number of uh, templates here, mastering templates. There is one for Amazon. You can see the loudness and stuff. And then there is Apple Music. You can see how it's negative six, uh, 1600 laughs. So let's say this is the CD. I like to use this uh, preset because I'm having that old school mindset. But there are all of them. You can use all of them. Okay, so press start. So it's doing its encoding, it's doing everything, the AI thing, mastering the song. All right, so here is the final output, mastered song. And if you can see here, these are some of the plugins that have been used to master this song. There's a widener, there's MB compressor, there's low filter exciter and hi-fi exciter. Since it's automatic, everything is not active here to check whatever whatever and you can also move this you can oh. so this is the this is the default let's listen to the original So there definitely there is a difference. So select and say okay. So the song is mastered. So I will drag it here and do some comparison. You can see even the wave itself is is a very huge differences in these waves. This is the mastered, this is not the mastered. Okay, so let's listen to the to the mastered one. That's what he say King of the universe. The most hijacked, let there be a peace. That's all what he wish. King of the universe. Ababa Jonah. Okay, 
so that is the mustard and let's listen to the one which is not mustard the most hijack let there be a peace that's all what he wish king of the universe Ababa Jonah. Yeah, so basically that is it. I think as time goes, they might keep on updating this feature. It, it's a very good feature. If you are a beginner, you don't want to waste time to do these things and uh, figuring out what should I do mastering. I think it's a very good feature to use when it comes to mastering. So what do you think? Just tell me, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me see your opinion. But this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel, this is Wheel of Wheels Reggae Production, Music Production Tips. This is what we do. Leave a comment, like if this video was good and necessary for you. Until next time, have a blessed week.